Wrecked Podcast is brought to you by Honey Miner. Want to start mining but never had the technical skills or time? Honey Miner is the answer. Honey Miner is a one click install mining software that downloads directly to your computer and earns you Bitcoin. No more writing scripts or configurations. Just download the desktop app and start mining immediately. What are you waiting for? Go to HoneyMiner.com and start earning Bitcoin while you sleep today. That's HoneyMiner.com on Twitter at GetHoneyMiner and Telegram at t.me backslash honeyminer. Shit. Yeah, I'm like, what's a, f-? like, I didn't want to say what's a firewall, but what the <laughs> fuck is a firewall? <laughs> Hello and welcome to Wrecked Podcast. I am Bunchu Betts alongside my fearless companion, Crypto Chamber. Chamber, how are you today? Doing pretty good. You know, it's a good day. I woke up with a huge green dildo in my bed with me. Oh my uh, God, what I did mean, your wife think about that? <laughs> it was on my phone uh, oh. <laughs> when, I, when I check the price of Bitcoin as I do every morning. Uh, yeah, totally... Yeah, went uh, went pretty crazy for a few hours. It did go pretty crazy for a few hours. So we saw some really interesting uh, price action during the day today. Um, woke up and saw, you know, the price wasn't too crazy when I woke up. It was about 6500 But apparently on Bitfinex, we got all the way up to around, you know, 70. Did it go as high as 78? I, I, I yeah yes definitely over seventy five and I'm seeing like on Bitstamp I have a Bitstamp chart open it was at sixty seven so there was some discrepancy uh, it, throughout the market we'll talk about why possibly a little later um, in our new segment but it was interesting to see we saw some uh, some pretty good action but you know everything kind of came back to life a little so at the time of this recording i am seeing a 6428 uh bitcoin um that's on bitstamp as i mentioned and then ethereum is at 21324 litecoin at 5581 and uh you know, so everything's kind of back to where it started, but yeah. um, you know, we still got some good, decent growth on. I mean, four percent ish uh, by the end of the day today. So, pretty interesting. But I got a yeah. question for you, Bunchu. Uh, Go ahead. I, I, I use a Bitfinex chart, and we're yes. still showing sixty, like over sixty seven hundred dollars on Bitfinex. Yeah, interesting. Um, and it's been high all day. It's been high. Like it's been three. It's been three hundred dollars higher all day. So, like, why is somebody not just buying on another exchange and then just dumping it on Bitfinex right now? Uh, I think I saw. Now, I'm not 100% sure on this, so don't don't hold me to this. Uh, this is total uh, financial advice. <laughs> well, I think I saw that Bitfinex said that they were uh, disabling withdrawals for a while oh, okay. because of this. That makes and sense. I don't trade on Bitfinex. Because I think I saw that they did that because basically to avoid a mass you know arbitrage exiting yes exactly so um that's why um we can go i think your news story is a little bit about why there is a there is a difference to begin with so we'll save that for then but anyway that's what we call a tease news that's a teaser you know we're we (laughs) are podcast people (laughs) we are professional (laughs) podcasters stay tuned for uh for that coming up in the show um before we before we get any further i want to uh make sure i talk about this so our wonderful sponsor honey miner is doing a giveaway um so you all know honey miner uh very easy way to mine from home from your normal computer um, or if you have a gaming computer, this giveaway is for you too. Or if you just want to increase your mining uh, capabilities, so Honey Miner is giving away two free GPUs, uh, NVIDIA 
EVGA GTX 1080 Ti or an RX Vega 64 or similar. So how can you enter? Follow at Get Honey Miner on Twitter. Retweet and like their uh, their entry posts. So there's going to be a post uh, about the giveaway. So follow them. Uh, retweet and like it. And tag three of your friends. And uh, wow, this is cool actually. If one of them wins and you tag them first, then you also win, which is pretty what? cool. So I'm just going to tag the crap so out of you. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> and the winners are going to be announced. Hold on. Winners are going to be announced 11-16. 2018 at 2 p.m. Eastern time. So again, that's get follow at get Honeymeyer, retweet and like the post, tag three friends, and if one of them wins that you tag, you're gonna win too. So uh, that's pretty cool. Chamber. That is cool. So if I enter this, yeah, and I do, I have the same. Do I have the same chance of winning, or I like, would. I would probably say you have zero chance of winning. That's what I'm thinking, right? I, it's like if you're the employee at a restaurant right. that's doing I can't some win, kind of can I? And you can, I don't think you can This win. is something I want real bad. Like, I'm like, oh, this uh, is this well, is, like, this have is your, a win. Have your know. wife enter. I don't like to cheat, though. If, if the rules are the rules, I'm a... I'm a, I'm a, have, I'm a have your wife enter. <laughs> <laughs> Anonymously. One of yeah. your sock puppet accounts. Yeah, maybe. I uh, have a few of at, those. At not crypto chamber. Yeah, it's the last place they're gonna look. <laughs> exactly, that's perfect. Anyway, so uh, that's the giveaway from Honey Miner. Pretty cool. Um, so definitely enter that. We're gonna retweet their tweet and we'll send it out so everybody can. T- we'll put it in the Telegram group so everybody can enter. Um, but yeah, other than that, how was the rest of your weekend, dude? Anything good? Um, watched. Uh did I have basketball? Yeah, I think I had a basketball game I watched on the weekend. That was about it. That's the highlight of my weekends lately. Sweet. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Not nothing much. I I was telling my wife. Um, uh, yeah. Yesterday was Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. Yesterday was Sunday. Mm-hmm. Um, we we're sitting down, and we had done a bunch of stuff around the house, and we we're sitting down maybe closer to dinner time. And I looked at him like, I was thinking about you know you and like guys like you that watch NFL football. I'm like. I wish I watched NFL football so much. I'm like, do you know that after breakfast, like we would wake up, have breakfast, maybe do a little something around the house, but by one o'clock, you're done. The day oh, is yeah. over. That's it. Oh, I'm God. done. I love it. I'm so jealous. I had to do so much shit on Sunday. I'm like, I wish I just watched football. Be like, baby, <laughs> baby, it's it's Sunday. Uh, I'm done at one. So my favorite. Uh, so I watch the Red Zone Channel, and mm-hmm. uh, the Red Zone Channel is basically flips back and forth to all the games when somebody's about to score. And so uh, when he kicks it off every every sa- or every Sunday, he says, get ready for seven hours of commercial-free football, and it's my favorite oh, line of the week. So That is a – oh, that sounds terrific. <laughs> anyway, that's what I did yesterday. Uh, the mm-hmm. day before, we did some wedding stuff, uh, so that was good. And But it was the first weekend I wasn't traveling in a very long time. Oh, so, oh I should uh, say, by the way – uh, to before I forget, tomorrow is my wife and I's eighth anniversary. Uh, oh so that's goodness. technically today when it's come when this comes out. Cool. So, uh, Congratulations! Yeah. Happy yeah. anniversary! It's crazy. Hey, why don't you tell everybody what you'll be doing? Uh, I'll be uh, traveling. <laughs> um, funny story. <laughs> this, this is how this is how close my wife and I are that nothing will shake our our foundation. Uh, <laughs> I have to leave. I, I'm working. I, I got to go to town tomorrow, so I'm leaving all day. I'm gone for a couple of days, and uh, yeah, no, I'm just uh, won't be around. So she uh, she'll be there, uh, but I have to be work. I'm working with uh, another lady. Uh, so I'll be spending like the evening with another oh, lady. Uh, so she, nice. she thought that was pretty funny. Uh, that you know, <laughs> gonna go have dinner with this lady on our anniversary. And so it's, that's uh, pretty funny. Yeah. So I thought that was I thought that was pretty funny. But not only are you leaving and doing some traveling, you are traveling to America. I am. So we're going to play some uh, American uh, Chamber Goes to the U.S. <laughs> scavenger hunt. We're going to give you some some good things that you're going to have to find or take pictures of. You'll be in Minnesota, correct? Uh, yeah, Minnesota. We and... might put that out to our Telegram group or Twitter of like what what uh, Chamber has to find on his scavenger hunt to to Minnesota. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> cool. Anyway, so that's it. We're going to get right into the news. Chamber. 
We teased it. Let's talk about it. All right. Big big news day today, guys. I don't know if you, I don't know if you guys were paying attention. Big news. There. Big news week, really. Yeah, lot nonstop, lot of action happening. So, um, not but uh, we had the, we finally saw that action in the uh, the price of Bitcoin overnight. Uh, shot up uh, for a few hours, up to you know over seventy five hundred dollars. Uh, so up, you know, in, in some cases, seventy seven, seventy eight hundred dollars. Uh, pretty crazy. Uh, turns out it had a lot to do with our good old friend Tether. Um, so before you get any further into this, I think there's a conspiracy out there that in I like it. That this Go is on. <laughs> this is this is in direct defiance of us kicking it out of the crypto draft last week. <laughs> Hey, that makes, I never even thought of that. That makes a lot of sense. We, we, we kicked we, it out. We said, hey, you ain't volatile enough for us. Yeah, I think that's what we said. We did. We, I it think was. that's what we said. Weird. <laughs> mm, all right. I like it. Uh, the, uh, we are the seed of a conspiracy. That's it. Uh, Shazam. It. Shazam. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah. So some some shenanigans with with Tether. Uh, a lot there was some fud out there. People w- were saying, you know, uh, obviously it, the you want Tether to stay at as close to one U.S. dollar as possible, and it went down as low as what did we see? I'm trying uh, to find it now. I I saw a, like an eighty eighty five. Yeah, yeah, that's something. Yeah, so, that's that's a big dip on a stable coin. Um, yeah, which then. That cause I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not a professional uh, economics uh, person. I don't know why. Well, let's think. Why about would it, right? why Here would you. tether why would tether uh, being unstable make Bitcoin go up? I guess there's a, is there a okay, lot of money so in tether? If you were, well, yeah. So I mean, obviously, I mean, it's it. in the top ten of crypto yeah. currencies. It's not in our a, top ten. It's got a two point <laughs> right exactly. It's got a uh, two point seven two point eight billion dollar uh, market cap. So I mean, think about on Bitfinex, right? If everybody is out there thinking, okay, Tether's crashing, Tether's going to go to zero, and there, and if you're sitting in Tether and not in Bitcoin, you are going to sell your Tether. But what are you going to sell your Tether to? You're going to sell it to Bitcoin, right? right. So that's or Ethereum, why. which also went up. Uh, which also know, had a 10% yep. or something shot up this morning as well. So people were selling their tether because but my alts all went this... down. My alts went down. Well, you know why that is. That's because I got Bitcoin a big goes on a ripper. Uh, that's what happens. <laughs> you know, the old Bitcoin goes on a ripper and all your alts go to shit. And yeah. that's what happens. If, but it seems to have stabilized a little bit. So. I, they, yeah, it's pretty much back to normal at this yeah. point. But so the reason it's Bitfinex is Tether is closely tied to Bitfinex. So it's, right. you know, other exchanges have Tether, but I'm pretty sure it's all kind of started. It like Bitfinex, the people who own Bitfinex, I believe, are also behind Tether. So there was all this stuff a couple months ago about the audits and everything. And so, um, they recently dropped Noble Bank as their banking partner. Right, yeah. Um, the and there was the whole thing about you know okay is Tether really backed by dollars? Is so is their insolvency? And so I guess this was all insolvency fud, basically saying um, reports started surfacing that Tether had no money to back its total supply. So if if that's, that's the case, the case, but they've been saying that since like I've got I've gotten into crypto, uh, and it seems to just shake off this negative stuff all the time. Uh, yeah, that's so. That was the. Uh, I mean, we've seen this happen some other times with Tether. Uh, I think I've I never saw seen. Ha- today. I don't think I've ever seen it this bad before. I never noticed it at least. If this it said this said an eighteen month low. That, that makes I sense. Saw I have not been in crypto for 18 months. So. Yes, but so an 18-month low on Tether. So that's why that happened, and that's probably why Bitcoin price is still higher on Bitfinex right. would be my guess. So That's, that's a good um, idea. But then there's another article here about Tether. It says, um, you know, Tether implodes in a 4% drop, and then it says equals an important step towards crypto market growth. So this says, you know, why why could this be, you know, a good thing? And I think that's kind of what we just mentioned, right? So if well, plus you, you have, uh, you know, besides Tether, I've noticed like three or four new stable coins that have 
kind of just recently popped up. Like, I think is is it just a matter of time before there's a bunch we're so done with tether? Like, there's the, the Gemini one. Right. It says the decline of Tether could positively affect the crypto market as it will lead to traders uh, traders to regulated, audited, and transparent alternatives like the Gemini dollar, Paxos, P-A-X, and True USD. True um, USD, yeah. Mm-hmm. TUSD so, for USDT. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's a cri- yes. crypto tongue twister right there. That is, sure is. That should be on a t-shirt that nobody would ever buy. <laughs> I definitely buy one. I uh, definitely buy one of those. But you know, so that's kind of the whole tether foot and why we kind of saw some things go on today. Um, I think it's kind of what made the spike so large. Um, there's obviously some other bullish news that came out today, yeah. which I will talk about right now. So the other big, big, big news today. Mainstream $7.2 trillion asset manager Fidelity will help customers invest in Bitcoin. So, Chamber, this is some big news. Um, this is big news. Do you do you know what the news is? <laughs> yeah, totally. No, I totally, Fidelity, they're, they're really, uh, you know, uh, All right, good with money. You. They got a lot of money. <laughs> let uh, me tell you. A couple of trillion. That's, that's but, good. <laughs> Fidelity is one of the biggest names in financial services, and they want to help, right. keyword, keyword, institutional investors add Bitcoin and other cryptocurrency assets to their multi-billion dollar portfolios. So I think the big thing to notice here is right off the bat that it's it's going to be a trading platform uh, you know, kind of geared toward that institutional investor, which we've been kind of talking about all year. Like, okay, this is now when the institutional money is coming in and blah, blah, blah. So this says that citing proven institutional demand for cryptocurrency products, Fidelity Investments, the fifth largest asset manager in the world with 27 million clients and $7.2 trillion in customer assets, has announced that it will launch a separate company to provide cryptocurrency custody and trade execution execution services for institutions. So um, it's going to be called Fidelity Digital Asset Services, uh, reports our good friends at CNBC. And it's going to help serve as a bridge between institutional investors and retail focused and the uh, and the current retail focused cryptocurrency industry. So, you know, this is going to be, um, you know, bring new players to the game so it sounds like you huge know, news like why what, it's like why gigantic are we at, news. why are we at 20 grand yet like, <laughs> well it's funny because what did you ask me what did you ask me before we got on like so is this a bit or is this a bigger deal than an etf or which one was a bigger deal like a, you know which is this is this bigger news than if an etf would be you know approved today? so my opinion is yes this is just as big or bigger than an ETF. And my my opinion, hashtag not financial advice, is Double hashtag totally financial advice. <laughs> <laughs> well, my uh, you know, my my caveat would be it's probably more important because not only is Fidelity gigantic, but and it's geared towards institutional investors, but uh, it's also going to it's going to provide a custody and trade trade execution services so the as the way i understand it the holders are going to actually be holding actual bitcoin right Right. whereas an etf it's it's not it's more of like a contract to get them exposure to the price action of bitcoin without actually connect (laughs) <laughs> an ETF is BitConnect. Well, I would say ETF. <laughs> an ETF is probably more like BitMEX. Okay, all right. So, like you know, when you go and buy a contract on BitMEX, you're not gotcha. actually buying the Bitcoin. Okay, they pay right. you out your profits in Bitcoin, but you're not actually buying a Bitcoin like you would be on Coinbase. You know what Hashtag I mean? Hashtag BitMEX, the new BitConnect. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, let's see if we can get that trending. Yeah, that Arthur Hayes will be at our door. Like, Arthur Hayes. <laughs> oh, my God. So um, a quote here from Fidelity. Our goal is to make digitally native assets such as Bitcoin more accessible to investors. So this is from um, CEO 
Abigail Johnson. Uh, she said, we expect to continue investing and experimenting over the long term with ways to make this emergent asset class easier for our clients to understand and use. Um, so it's pretty awesome. Um, they said they saw that there were certain things in institu that institutions needed that only a firm like Fidelity could provide. So I think that speaks towards, you know, institutional investors kind of still being a little weary about the ways that they can uh, they can invest in this market. So this will give them kind of a, you know, safety, a peace of mind. You know, Fidelity is the real deal and they're huge and um, you know, I think it's huge. Um, any other thoughts on that chamber? No, I just want uh, the price of Bitcoin to go up now, please. <laughs> that is all. <laughs> that is all. Okay. Well, <laughs> I mean, I think over the long term it will, a, this is huge, huge, huge news. So, um, I think it's potentially bigger than an ETF, uh, approval. I know ETFs, the buzzword, um, but this is pretty large and in charge so we'll see what happens you know right. we, this could maybe this will spring the reversal i mean I, I don't see here where it says you know gives us a time frame or anything um but we'll we'll you know we'll keep not, an eye it's on not it. today though right no it's not today um it they just announced that they're doing it so um anyway all right so that does it for our news we are going to do uh our other segment that you know speaking of all these spikes and uh, you know some interesting price action today we're going to say we're going to go with no fomo morning so chamber you know, we just we just sorted this list of <laughs> all the top of all of the cryptocurrencies uh, that are listed. On... To be honest, I'm having a little FOMO. Uh, I know it's supposed to be no FOMO. <laughs> oh my, oh. Uh, we, we just filtered this list of all the cryptocurrencies. This might have been and, a bad idea. <laughs> and there's some stuff on here. One that I've never heard of, but two. Don't let anybody tell you that there's not things that are pumping out there because there definitely is. Um, we're looking at a 24-hour price here. Yeah. And uh, this, they've got the dollar price listed on this. So the thing that is up the most in a 24-hour span is the 1,932 ranked coin on CoinMarketCap called FreeCoin. <laughs> <laughs> no idea what free coin is. I'm about to find out, but yeah. but it is up 1,042% in the last 24 hours. So um, that's pretty crazy. Let's so don't that, uh, don't buy don't FOMO that. It's buy, still got can... a price. <laughs> it's got a U.S. dollar price of 0. 0.000002. <laughs> Available on the Crex 24. Uh, uh, ooh, I don't know. I don't know what exchange that is, but Crex twenty yeah. four. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. Don't go on there. Okay. I just went to a free coins website. It's uh, freecoin dot technology. The free coin colon free. Uh oh, I just got some pop out. Oh boy. Oh, buy one. Oh, no. <laughs> buy one to ten percent of the free coin. We plan listing on four major exchanges to finance this. A consortium of coin holders sells 10% of the free coin at a special price. <laughs> Contact us at freecoin.outlook.be. Okay, canceling that immediately. Uh, <laughs> this says <laughs> free coin, free your dreams, live your life. <laughs> wow, free your dreams, live your life. Oh, wow. This is giving... Oh, my God. This has got to be illegal or... This is a security. <laughs> <laughs> it's It says, Target 2024, one free coin equals $1. <laughs> Makes sense. All right. So they are giving you a, you know, five, six-year target on here <laughs> that nice. someday your free coin will be $1. Yeah, that's definitely legal. 
Yeah, so the objectives of FreeCoin. FreeCoin is a bold and disruptive innovator with three main objectives. Pave the way for global, global mass usage of cryptocurrency. Our mission is to make cryptocurrency accessible to every interested person on Earth. The FreeCoin is the only cryptocurrency with the correct level of supply to support worldwide usage of crypto. Okay. Story checks out. Make cryptocurrency inclusive. Blah, 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 blah. All right. So create global wealth by distributing a cryptocurrency that will increase very fast in value. <laughs> something smells, shut, something shut smells fishy about this one. Oh, no. This is the price evolution of Frequent. Oh, my God. This is like... E I've, I'm starting to feel like this is an SEC scam web or like yeah. uh, the Howie, Howie coins. Yes. Oh, my goodness. All right. So free coin up a thousand percent. I wouldn't be buying that if with your money chamber. <laughs> wow. Um, all right. Next one on this list. You you want to take this one? Let's have go back here. Oh, I lost it. Oh, one my second. goodness. What do we got next? The the thirteen hundred and fifty three ranked coin. Uh, all right, now we're seeing some, you know, only 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 three x on this reasonable one. Reasonable amounts up three hundred and forty two percent. Ethera, right? Is yeah, it's almost that? like Ethereum. Yeah, ETA <laughs> is the uh, coin. Do you know what this coin is? I do not know. Uh, I I know most of the major altcoins. I do not know this one. <laughs> This is it has a market cap of two hundred and fifty six thousand, a twenty four hour trading volume of eighty nine dollars. <laughs> All right, let's I see what me. Ethera is. So Ethera is, oh, if, oh their website. Up oh, there we go. Ethera Switzerland, real estate for the blockchain. All right, interesting. I don't really see what anything is here uh, let's see what their vision is but uh all right i can't really find out too much here yeah i'm, I'm gonna say these sites aren't uh aren't the no. best um the ethera all-in-one solution and global portal software for managing real estate on the blockchain find immediately what you're interested so matching consulting <laughs> and huge tools mm, okay nice <laughs> Uh, now I'm interested. <laughs> hey, anyway, that's Ethera. And then what's the last one here on this list? The top three here. Current, the three hundred or the thirteen hundred and sixty seventh coin, uh, timbal or ticker symbol. Kurt K U R T market cap two hundred twenty six thousand. It is up two hundred and twenty seven percent over the last twenty four hours. Uh, let's find out what this is. Man, there's a lot of stuff on here I have never heard of in oh, my I, life. I'm looking at them right now. It's insane. Oh my god! So hold on, let's go to this. People website. have money yeah. in this. I know. Like that's crazy. <laughs> I don't. But <laughs> I mean, I do. Oh, this, but yeah, I, this web this website actually looks pretty cool. All right. It's a uh, zero knowledge technology altcoin with X11 algorithm and true random bonus blocks. All right, let's read about true random bonus blocks. Yeah, I don't know what that means. <laughs> I, sounds. I don't know awesome. what a zero knowledge X11 altcoin is uh, either. <laughs> Transaction. Okay, so it's a privacy coin. The transaction oh. is completely untraceable. It is the first. What is X11? It's got to be some kind of platform uh, with zero coin features. Also, the first zero knowledge coin that supports random block payouts and true random bonus blocks. Zero coin protocol with the zero point uh, zero coin protocol. So it sounds like it's a zero because isn't Z Hold on. With zero coin protocol, you can prove that you own a coin without revealing which one is yours. Oh, interesting. During first step called mint, your coin goes into an accumulator, and during the second step called spend, one can prove that he owns a coin in the accumulator, but doesn't have to indicate which one, which particular coin it is. Uh, that actually okay. sounds pretty interesting if you're in All right. privacy get, coins. Yeah. All right. Sorry, so Kurt. one out of three ain't too bad. <laughs> one out of three ain't bad. I still wouldn't be fomoing into it, no, uh, because not it's, up, it's up, it's up two hundred twenty-seven percent today. Um, some of the other ones on this list that we won't go into any more crazy detail on: defense, uh, DFS, um, 
Big Up? Oh, oh big come up. on. I want to know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> What's Big Up? Come on. Do you know what Big Up is? I have no... Are you kidding me? I don't know what oh, any of these are. Oh, my God. Golos? I'm checking you know Big what? Up right now. All right. Golos, Chips, Smiley Coin. Golos is a four the ranked four hundred and eighty three. Smiley coin is in the top one thousand. Um, man, there's a lot of stuff on here that this uh, website for uh, big up big up is a big disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, big ups as a market cap of one hundred twenty six thousand. Um, zero trading volume <laughs> in the last 24 hours and yeah are you ready for the big up lifestyle sustainable rewarding built for bigness big up life what is this big up oh my god i can't believe some of these things are things that people are putting money in i'm really glad we do this segment <laughs> uh, see i'm some glad we do this segment. some crazy shit out there people there is. Well, all right. I, I could, I could learn more about this current coin. I, I'd be, I could be into that. See, um, that's why we gotta, you know, you gotta do your own research or have somebody yeah. else do it for you. Or one of those case, two options. DYOP, because yeah. I would not have ever looked at exactly. any of these coins otherwise. But <laughs> anyway, so that is, or was, no FOMO. So we're gonna do something fun here that. Uh, also news related, but um, we're going to put a little different spin on this based on a Medium article that we just found. Uh, Chamber, want to talk about crypto's newest best friend, Nuriel Rabini? This guy's awesome. This guy sounds like he should be a magician. He also sounds like he should be in a straitjacket. That is true. <laughs> also be able, being able to get get himself out of that said straitjacket. Right. Well, that's why he's he's such a great magician. that he Nuriel Rabini. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. All right, so who is this guy? I don't know. I learned a lot about him this week, though. Uh, <laughs> so, so apparently not well-liked on Twitter. Interesting. Uh, uh, I would say the most notorious uh, person so on, twi on crypto Twitter in quite a while. Yeah, no kidding. Um, more so than the old man that from California that was oh, he had that real crusty look on his face, like the human version of the Grinch. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I forget his name, but he was pretty bad too. Uh, but yeah, no, apparently uh, there was a little bit of uh, was a Senate debate. Is that what we're calling it? Yes, it was. Uh, yes, exactly. A and it was between him uh, and uh, I forget the other guy's name, Jeremy Van something, Van Vanderburk or something. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Anywho, I, I, I just botched that, but whatever. Yeah. Um, um, one who was making, uh, Jeremy was making the, I, I, it's Jeremy, right? I don't know. Like, You're oh, telling me. <laughs> shit, I'm, it might not be Jeremy. Anyways, uh, this gentleman that he was arguing against was very, uh, uh, mild mannered, very, you know, made his points respectfully and, you know, logically. And, uh, this, this magician man over here, Nuriel, uh, was, uh, <laughs> I yeah, love how he's a magician. <laughs> <laughs> He just, uh, yeah, he was, uh, you know, bad mouthing it and had some, had some interesting things to say, uh, as, as, you know, as, as arguments against Bitcoin. I, I just love how you made him a magician. This yeah. Is I, I saw it. I'm like, Nuriel Rubini looks like Harry Houdini. I think, I think is where I went to. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. So I, we found this medium article here while we were just, uh, um, searching through our news and this article is by Lou Kerner um, he is a partner at crypto oracle .io. Um, do you have Shout his, out uh, Lou. yeah do you have his Twitter handle by I any do. chance it's yeah. at Lou Kerner <laughs> it's at Lou it. Kerner all right you got him. <laughs> that's well, it shout it out quick, it was a quick search so he wrote this article and we are going to do it in David Letterman style it is called the 10 stupidest things Nuriel Rabini said in his testimony to the U.S. Senate Committee on Banking. And we're just going to read it straight up like a, uh, a David Letterman style. So, ready? Number 10. 
Blockchains ideology is politically born out of the same mentality as libertarian right-wing conspiracies or extreme left anarchisms. All governments, central banks, monies, institution, banks, corporations, and entities with reputation and credibility build over centuries are evil, centralized concentrations of power that literally need to be destroyed. Wow. Uh, that was 10? <laughs> that was 10. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, this guy. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Number nine. Dot, dot, dot. The Internet quickly gave rise to email, the World Wide Web, and millions of viable commercial ventures used by billions of people in less than a decade. So basically there he's saying that... Uh, Crypto is not like the internet because it didn't have billions of users in the first 10 years. But anyway. Makes sense. Oh, my God. Number eight has an A, B, C, and B. <laughs> <laughs> That's cheating. <laughs> no, number 8A, because its price can fluctuate by 20 to 30% in a single day, and since its price has been so unstable or volatile, almost no merchant will ever use it as a means of payment. Um Okay, no. Graphs and charts. <laughs> 8B, cryptocurrencies instead will not have, will instead have not and will never have the tools to pursue economic and financial stability. Number C, letter C, it will never be possible to create a consensus mechanism that is scalable while also being decentralized and secure. Yeah, that's pretty dumb, right? Yeah, doesn't I mean? These guys hasn't been making too much sense so far. It just seems like it's all based in nothing but just like, like old man screams at sky. Old man screams at Bitcoin. Yeah, there is no 8D. There is no institution under the sun, bank, corporation, nonprofit, government, charity who would put on public, decentralized, peer-to-peer, -peer, permissionless, trustless, distributed ledgers in its balance sheet, profit and loss, transactions, trades, interactions with clients and suppliers. Why would all this information, mostly proprietary and high valuable, be on a public ledger? I think that's uh, totally missing the point there. Um, it's supposed to be peer-to-peer -peer currency transactions. And, you know, he's just saying, why would a company use a, a, a public ledger? They might not, but it's right. about they can taking use private payments. ledgers. Right, exactly. Number seven, Bitcoin's claim of a steady state supply of 21 million units is fraudulent. Okay, well, that's not I true. I don't see how it is. I don't see how it could be. It's like you can find it. <laughs> yep, there's an answer. Like, you yeah, can see right. it. <laughs> yeah, you can see it. Six, fiat currencies are also protected from value debasement by central banks. Incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> Five, That's... until now, Bitcoin's only real use has to be, oh God, to be facilitate illegal activities such as drug transactions, tax evasion, avoidance of capitals, controls, or money laundering. Yeah. Uh, this is sense. the... But this is the old, the old. That's what money is used for. Well, I mean, yeah, all money is used yeah. for those things. Yeah, come on. But this is like the classic uh, counter argument to okay, what Bitcoin is used for and yeah. what it's. They never talk about the good things. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, like people working overseas that can just you know transfer money to their family with you know very little fees. Exactly. Oh, but then he went on a rant about fees later. But yeah. number four, the top 10 coins traded after Bitcoin have lost between 83 and 95 percent of their value since peak with an average loss of over 90 percent. This is a true crypt apocalypse. Oh, I see what he did there. Yeah, he did do that. <laughs> he went there. <laughs> number three, a shit coin is a grave insult to manure. <laughs> that's just good that's just that's, that's just good, good. That's Tip just of the good cap right there. Yeah. <laughs> number two it is clear that by number now one. that should be number one <laughs> it is clear by now that bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies represent the mother of all bubbles oh, come on and the number one stupidest thing that Nurio Robini said during his Senate <laughs> committee testimony on banks. Since the invention of money thousands of years ago, there has never been a monetary system with hundreds of different currencies operating alongside one another. Lou Kerner goes on to say, this is the stupidest thing that Nurio said highlighting his basic lack of understanding of, of crypto. Few cryptocurrencies are trying to be currencies. Almost all are like frequent flyer miles. They can be used to incentivize members of a community to perform certain tasks. And once earned or bought, they can be used as means of payments for products or services. Nuriel thinks they're all currencies because of the nomenclature. So 
that is basically a very fun way to uh, wrap it's a up. a good article. It is a great article, and it's a fun way for us to wrap up the hour-long Senate committee <laughs> on, <laughs> on banking. Um, but, yeah, Nuriel, he's made a lot of... Uh, and then he went on this just Twitter rant of Yeah, he went crazy on Twitter. I attacking. love that. I think that's what endeared him to us. I, I, I don't think he's endeared. I mean, I think I people think the are... Twitter, I think taking to Twitter, even as the bad guy, it's like the bad guy wrestler. He he like went, you hate him, but you love he, him. He went directly at our uh, our very <laughs> own big money big monkey on the rock, Mister Backwards. Did you see this? I did not see that. Uh, what? Mister Mister Backwards tweeted at him. I have never heard about Nuriel, but I just checked his checked his timeline. Are you sure this isn't a parody account? And Nuriel responded, "Look at your own face, you crypto clown. You are a parody of this farce that is crypto land, a total buffoon." Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> I mean, Mr. B getting a badge of honor you there. Are the big monkey on the rock, <laughs> Mr. Is, B? You are. He, he is. He is. Um, just I'm trying to find the other uh, the other good one that i <laughs> that i saw here uh then they they st- he went at kevin fam um he went back and forth with vitalik for a while i heard about um, that yeah that's awesome but that's that's what i want in a bad guy like that oh th- he is the ultimate crypto <laughs> bad pure guy entertainment are you kidding me like the uh, no, that's great i love it you know I'm, some I'm of the big... other guys we've had i uh, i now know who you're talking about the uh the guy that you said looked like the Grinch, they they like people bullied him off of Twitter within a day. Yeah, <laughs> uh, this guy is he's now on his tirade uh, for multiple days here. I love it. No, this guy's this guy's the real deal. He yeah he's he's the real deal. I'm Big trying fan. to find Big I'm, fan. I'm really trying to find this one more tweet here before I find it. He he compared. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Uh, the the first tweet that he quote tweeted, it's a it said from at Lightning Hardware, uh, said it's a sneaky action from Nuriel. First, make a bunch of lies about Bitcoin, and then debate the leader of the shitcoin whereof the lies are actually true. Oh, so he's attacking ETH here, uh, this guy. But then <laughs> Nuriel says, uh. No, maybe this isn't the one. Another example of raging crypto civil war between Bitcoin fanatics and Ether lunatics, not to mention all the other shitcoin scatologics, scat, scatologicists. <laughs> Why do I need to critique crypto when they slaughter each other daily? Um, he, yeah, he, he I called us. Love this guy. He called us scatologists. <laughs> He's got to come on the show. Uh, there's no way we would ever get this. Hundred percent, I'm gonna get him. Watch you're, this. This you're my... never gonna get. It's gonna him. be great. Oh my god, he <laughs> he said something. It's still not the one that I'm looking for. I feel bad, but now I'm just tw- scrolling through this guy's timeline. This is terrible uh, radio. But um, anyway, that's Noriel. Uh, oh, here here's a good yeah, one. I knew you got it. Here's it's I don't think I'm getting closer (laughs) two days ago as I poke fun of these crypto crazies and lunatics they all come out of their shit coin filled cesspools and hurl nasty (laughs) insults against me 24 7 so I block them all and 99% of them are angry white males who are total life losers (laughs) proves my point on crypto as right wing nuttery (laughs) (laughs) Uh, when you're pegged you're pegged I got it (laughs) oh my god so funny (laughs) That's pretty awesome. I could keep like, reading all these. I, I can read fantastic. these. I can this guy's read these a must follow. Yeah, he is. Um, but anyway, so that's obviously. We're pro Robini here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're pro Robini as a villain. Yeah. Like, I was like the Undertaker in the WWF. You know what I mean? He was the yeah. bad guy, but he was awesome. Yeah. yeah. Um, he, I, I, I mean, it's pretty good. So I. Then everybody was trying to get blocked by him, so um, I think that's like the you know, just enraging him. Oh yeah, it was like the it. cool the cool thing to do um, was to get. No, I checked the other day. I'm still uh, I'm, he, I can still follow him. Uh, I didn't get my badge of honor. Yeah, I I I didn't tweet at him at all. Um, I, don't, I don't I don't think I did. 
I'm pretty I'm typically against that type of behavior. So, <laughs> uh, but I but I like the um, I like to watch it all. Yeah, go no, down. that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> as long as you're honest so, with yourself, you know. Yeah, you know, <laughs> I, I I don't mind watching the train wreck from from afar. And you know, look, my my opinion of it is crypto Twitter has far better people for this than I. <laughs> So I'm just, you know, <laughs> I'm just going to let it all, watch it all burn. There are so. some great shit posters out there, though. Yes, exactly. Like, I, I, that's, it, there's some, some some talent out there that I don't like to mess with. But that's Rabini for us. So, yep. so take us now, Chamber, into the Wrecked Index. Brutal, savage, wrecked. All right, Wrecked Index. I actually posted out... Uh, oh, this was a great post. I forget what I posted now. Uh, I posted from the site, but I gave us our our kind of our our top positions, um, kind of start to finish, and how I was much a, we were up. I was surprised we have twenty seven bags already. Twenty seven bags. That's crazy. It's not including uh, Bitcoin or Ethereum. That wasn't including Bitcoin yeah, or Ethereum. I don't, I don't think it was. I think oh I made a point God. not to include those. Um, but yeah, you know what? Um, our, our the top of the pile is still looking good. Quant and Tomo, BNB, solid picks right there. Uh, and then you know, smaller bags, but aren't doing too bad. Uh, you know, we had a good day the other day with uh, uh, RVN. Was that Revane? Ra- no, Raven. No, bro. Raven. Oh yeah, caw. That's the bird. <laughs> is, that a, is that what a raven sounds like? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Um, that one had. A, I think that one got uh, onto Binance the other day. I want to say. Yeah, last week. So a nice little spike on that one. That's uh, a that was a coin Yeezy pump from our very first episode or pick from our yeah, very first right, episode. Right? Yeah. So no, uh, we're we're looking pretty good. Up. Uh, oh, doing all right. Uh, eight, uh, almost nine percent in uh, BTC value. Nice. Um, and USD. One second. We are down twelve and a half percent. Twelve and a half percent USD. That's still not terrible for. We're up in BTC, so I know. Yeah, you know, hang. We're hanging on by threads, but uh, it's something. It's better than being down in BTC. I agree, and so I. I think total. Um, you know, overall for having 27 bags and being up in BTC. Oh, plus which we is still, the, uh, by the way, it's 27 plus the three we still need to buy. Oh, from SoCal? It's it's a straight up 30. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> All right. So we got to buy we got to buy a couple more. But anyway. All right. But overall. We're going to be a 50 bags soon. Oh, my God. That's a lot of bags. Dude. I like it. Oh, well. So here we go. Um, instead of our BitMEX wrecked of the week uh, taking us out of our, our show here. However, uh, before I even get there, I do want to say um, we did have our second crypto poker tournament yesterday. Uh, oh, we did? <laughs> yeah. It, well, you were, you were there for about 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so Chamber, we, we didn't have uh, as good of a turnout as last time. We didn't get to promote it as well as we wanted. But so we'll, we'll do it again. We had, I think, six people um, come out and play with us. We'll, we'll get it bigger next time. Hopefully we'll get up towards 20. But um, it was fun. We I came in third, so I just missed nice, the Nice, good job. Yeah, but I missed the money. It oh, was only because it was, it was only six, yeah, six people. Yeah, top not, two paid. Yeah, so uh, I think my brother placed second or first. And then nice. um, Bob. Bubbles, shout out Bubbles. Uh, he came in either first or second too. I'm not sure which how they ended up, but um, how long did it go? I, that's the problem. It with went me. just I, it went just around an hour. Like it, oh, it okay. was still it that's was good. still pretty quick. Yeah, that's all um, right. But the <laughs> I just wanted to bring mention that you you came in third last time yeah. and you made a very quick exit this time, yeah. Uh, yeah. mostly by the hands of myself. Yeah, you took me a couple <laughs> times. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly by the hands of myself. Yeah, you did. You took a big chunk out of me. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, other than that, um, please like us and leave us a five star review on uh, iTunes. We're getting up there. We're we're up to I think twenty one now. Five star reviews. So not bad. Um, we we would appreciate That's that. That's good. Thank yeah. you, people. Yeah, thank you. Uh, we uh, we'll, we always need more. We appreciate them. Um, leave us a review. Tell us, uh, you know, 
tell us your favorite Nuriel Rabini tweet. Um, <laughs> whatever, whatever it is, um, like us, subscribe. Oh, other news: we're on Spotify now, thanks yeah. to our boy Chamber over here. Nice. Um, yeah. And then before we do leave, there is something we forgot to do, uh, Chamber. We mm. forgot to give the results of the polls. Oh right, polls. Yeah, we had a couple of polls here. Uh, one from the uh, episode last, the stream episode we did when we drafted our favorite Halloween candies. Um, you got those? I have the actually. Let's do. I have the the SoCal. The SoCal one. Okay, and then last, the other poll was from last week when we draft. So these are our draft polls. Um, the second one was when we drafted the actual uh, top twelve. So yes. why don't you give us the results there? Yeah, you won that one uh, convincingly. Forty-four percent of the vote. Remind them what your, my your your all-star team was led by Ethereum, uh, Stellar, Cardano, and EOS. Uh, that's, uh, that's a pretty a, that's solid a nice crew. team. It that's was a, a nice good team. Crew. Nothing wrong with that team at all. Good crew. All right, so you had the win there, but so I'm just scrolling down here. I gotta find the other one. The obvious winner to the uh, Halloween candy. I was talking a lot of garbage going into this. Yeah, uh, you... I was talking a lot of trash, and I, I'm gonna be honest with you. I was you a little nervous. Yeah. I was nervous. <laughs> well, it got it got close for a, a Ooh, long time. I was scared for a while. <laughs> I got my ass kicked. I got no love for the full size candy. I thought I was no. going to make a difference there, and people gave me no credit for that. So I think I came in last in that, right? Uh, you did. Yeah. Yeah. Dang. Yeah. It was. Yeah. It was Cynthia and I were neck and neck for a bit, and then I just pulled away. Thanks to Bag Odoritos. Uh, <laughs> oh man, that was that was a that was a divider. That was, that was polarizing. I told you, very gonna... very polarizing. I'm surprised that many people were into Bag of Doritos. But you also oh, had yeah. some really good Spit regular fire. candies. You had Twix. You had Snickers. Solid. Yeah, I won a couple on those alone. Yeah. So, um, but you know. Look, you may be able to pick candies. I can pick the portfolio. <laughs> That's right. <hey. laughs> At least I have my candies. <laughs> <laughs> so that'll do it for us. I do want to leave you because I finally found it after all this time. Instead of the BitMEX wrecked of the week, it's the Nuriel Robini tweet of the week. Crypto Twitter is a cesspool of bots, trolls, shills, scammers, crypto zealots, and lunatics, barking dogs that attack me after losing 90% in a year. None read my paper, and none have any substantial critique. This motley crew is a bunch of pathetic lunatics and hodling losers. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's insane, right? Like... How long do you think it takes him to make these tweets? Hold on. Wait, we got one more. I can't get off of this. This one this one might be even better. Uh, so thanks for the encore. We have a bonus Nurio Rabini tweet of the week. 99% of crypto land is one shitcoin traded for another shitcoin. And the average shitcoin lost 90% or more of its value in less than a year. So crypto land is a crap land, a cesspool of lunatics with severe Freudian scatological obsessions that swim 24-7 in their own stinking shit. Wow. That <laughs> is beautifully put. It's I love his prose. <laughs> He has he has a certain je ne sais quoi. <laughs> he's got he's got something. So I'm I'm totally for the Norio Rubini tweet of the week. Going I love forward. it. I'm down. And I'm pro it, Rubini. If you're ever feeling really good about yourselves out there, just go read some Rubini tweets and uh, <laughs> take a but, nice long look in the mirror. Yeah, but until next time, I'm your scatologically obsessed host, Bunchu Bats. And don't get wrecked, and that is financial advice.